Hi golfers, Nick here from American Golf and down at the Thorpe Store today. Today I'm testing the new TaylorMade P770 irons, which looks great behind the ball. TaylorMade brought out a couple of irons aimed at sort of the better players. They've got the 750, which is slightly thinner, slightly smaller head than 770. But today I'm going to test out 770. It's a forge club in the longer iron, so from 3 to 7 iron. They've got this tungsten bar here, which is designed at 70 grams, designed to sort of increase MOI, lower centre gravity increased ball speed off the face. Uh, the 7.9 is 33 degrees which is kind of normal, still a little bit strong but if you compare that to sort of M2 you're looking at 28.5 degrees so massive difference in loft between TaylorMade M2 and the P770. So the P770 is really aimed at the better player that's looking to shape the golf ball and get consistency. So today I'm going to test out the 7.9. I'm going to be using a KBS Tour FLT shaft and 120 grams, so it's a stiff flex. These shafts are fantastic, they're designed to optimize trajectory. So, in the lower irons, three, four, five, and six iron, they're, they're designed to sort of increase the ball flight. And in the sort of the higher irons, eight, nine, and pitcher made, is designed to lower the ball flight. So, great shaft, seven iron head. I'm going to hit a few shots on GC2, and then what I'm going to do at the end is I'm going to hit some shots and try and shape the ball a little bit, see how good this is at shaping the golf ball. Okay, it looks great behind the ball, minimal offset. Looks good, let's see how it performs and feels. Cry for the hours of sand that I took it to my view. Like a nerve in the back when I couldn't even lend a hand. So I've hit seven shots normally there, which I hit a bit of a draw. I had 700 revolutions of spin on average to the left. So let's see what happens if I try and shape this a bit more, try and get a little bit more of a draw out of it, see what happens. Felt good, it's gone further. You should sort of expect the way I struck that. Lower ball fly, more of a draw. So I'm just moving ball position, handle location, Club face aim a little bit to draw this. You can see I'm aiming reasonably straight. Two more. Feels really good. Wow. Okay, one more. Okay, some pretty good shots there. So we're gonna sit down now and take a look at some of that data. Okay, so you see me hit seven normal shots, and three where I tried to shape the ball a little bit more and play that draw. And first impression, I think it's a great club. I'm really impressed with the looks and the feel. Quite like the shaft as well, the KBS Tour FLT, it sort of suits me a little bit. So taking a look at some of that data, very consistent. So I hit seven shots at the beginning, my normal shape, is a bit of a push draw and every shot started out to the right about three degrees right target and every ball curved roughly between five and six hundred revolutions to the left the first one I think just curved a little bit more than that sort of up to a thousand but very consistent curve on the ball the backspin was very similar within about two or three hundred revolutions difference in terms of carry distance very similar sort of averaging only about 150 so it's not the longest club in the world but to me, that's not the most important thing. The feel, the amount you can shape the ball, the looks, the performance, the consistency is what I'm looking for in an iron. So in terms of carry distance, very similar. Direction, very similar. Miss with the first seven shots I hit there. One, two went three yards to the left. One went three yards to the right. All the rest were pretty much bang on, so very consistent. In terms of the draw shots there, you saw I've changed my setup a little bit, moved the ball back move the handle higher just to see if I get a bit more shape on the ball. So looking at the data from that, you can see I was averaging about 1500 revolutions to the left, which is about double what I was with my normal shot. In terms of carry distance a little bit further, all very, very similar really. So in terms of shapeability, really good. Feels great, performs great. So 
I think this is a great line. I think Taylor Morgan do really well with it this year. So golfers out there, if you want to give this a go, pop in, come down to any American golf, and we'll be happy to help you out. I'm full of mass and I don't stand.